so I'm on my way to Helsinki now with the Cossack. Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Kalle and I talk about luxury and finances. I believe we can indulge in some nice things if we do it in a financially responsible way. I have, for example, a video about how to afford luxury on a financially sustainable basis. And my last week's video was about how to view stock market dips. So this week's video is about the Louis Vuitton Grand Sac. Here it is. Grand Sac is French for big bag. And I'm going to pack this bag for a day out in Helsinki, the capital of Finland. I have also made a review video of this bag. In fact, it was my first YouTube video and I will leave a link to it in the description box below. Anyway, I bought this bag in February this year. I bought it at the Helsinki Louis Vuitton store through a virtual appointment, which I explain in the review video. So this video is also going to be a comparison between the Grand Sac and my older and smaller Bali tote, which I quite often use as my work bag. So I bought this in London in 2015 and the price was about 700 euros. So let's get the bits and pieces into this bag. You can't really pack this to capacity because it will get heavy and the only carry option is by hand. However, I was fully aware of this when I bought the bag and I'm drawn into the minimalist or no frills aspect of this bag. In addition, I try to pack light and like to see empty space in the bag. I will start with this removable pouch into which goes my wallet. The wallet is now the Louis Vuitton passport cover which I bought this summer and on which I made an unboxing video. The link is in the description box. Also, my phone will go into this pouch, but right now I'm filming this video with it. All right, the next thing will be this book, which is pretty heavy. It's a biography of a Finnish author, but I'm currently reading it and the train ride lasts some time, so I want to take this. So next I have my Louis Vuitton Horizon pochette pour accessoires, in which there are miscellaneous bits and bobs, lip balm, hand cream, hand sanitizer, tissues and whatnot. Some face masks, sunglasses, a reusable shopping bag and some organizing. And I will finish with a water bottle, which I'm going to fill just half because it will add to the weight of the bag. And with this, I'm good to go. According to the weather forecast, it is not going to rain in Helsinki, so I won't need an umbrella, knock wood. But anyway, that would also add extra weight to the bag. Now with these contents, the bag is not too heavy and the heaviest item is the book. Even a laptop would still fit in, but then it would definitely be too heavy. But if you took a laptop instead of the book, let me show you guys, that would work fine. Now the other tote bag is this Bali tote, the name of which is Tosilo Tochilo. I don't know if this is still in production. Anyway, the exterior is leather and when I bought this there was also a black version. Then you have the Bali stripes in fabric which I find visually appealing. And besides the handles, you also have the crossbody carry option with the strap. Although I tend to carry this handheld. And there is also an exterior pocket. Anyway, it is clearly smaller than the Grand Sac, as you can see. However, an A4 size document would fit into the Bali tote, but after that it has pretty limited capacity. The interior of the Bali tote is thinner fabric and it is not as sturdy and structured as the interiors of Louis Vuitton bags, but the price point is also lower. There is some organization inside the bag. You have, for example, this bottle holder into which I often shove 
a thermos flask with coffee and I will now put the water bottle into the bottle holder. Now let's see if what we just put into the Grand Sac fits into the Balito Silo. So the water bottle is already there. So let's put in the laptop instead of the bulky book. The pochette pour accessoires. The face masks. Sunglasses. Reusable shopping bag and the wallet and the phone. So all this does fit in, but there is hardly any room for anything else now. There you have it. This is my bag of choice for my day in Helsinki tomorrow. So greetings from Helsinki. We're about to enjoy our pizza and our lunch. It looks delicious. So here we are in the center of Helsinki on a square. This square is called Kasarmi Tori. It's a lovely sunny day and the monument is a memorial, national memorial to the Winter War 1939-1940. Do you have any of these two totes? What do you think about them in general? Do you find them practical? I would love to hear your comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would really help my channel. And please consider subscribing. I post new luxury and all financial content every Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. Rock the rest of your day. Bye bye.